Hey Nikki, uh, this is Mark Moriarty here in a very noisy room thanks to the rain outside. I just wanted to show you a quick feature we were working on today in case you wanted to have a play around with it. Yesterday I said how great it is that uh, your transcript is so accurate because of, I guess, the way you enunciate your words when you speak. But of course, because it's computer generated, um, especially the low accuracy words there, the faint, the faint words, you can see uh, many of them will be wrong. So what I wanted to just show off is if you're logged in as um, if you're logged in as this track user or you're logged in as an ad administrator, which I am, and you just add um, add edit transcript in the URL, then it's very easy to to make some edits. So let's go ahead and look for some error. I see one here. So I click to play from 19 seconds in. Hopefully you can also hear the audio on your own track. By the way, you'll notice I've speeded up the uh, the playback just to, just to allow me to get through the track a bit quicker. Um, so the way it works is I, I can click any word. In fact, I'm, I'm going to push it because I know what it says. Um, uh, let me restart this section. I was quite stunned at how ignorant she was. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a word and then hit the letter N to go on to the next one. And again, the letter N to go on to the next one and so on. And as long as I'm happy with the words, I'll keep just tapping the letter N. Note that this is nothing to do with playback. This is just me cycling through manually. If I go too far, I can hit the letter B to go back. So that's backwards. And N is the next word to go forwards. Um, and I'm approaching a word that is wrong, which is jot. So no, jot is fine. It's on is wrong. Let's just re-listen to that section. So you said jot down, but the, the machine picked up jot on. So if I have highlighted the word, I've navigated by hitting B and N, then I just tap the letter E to edit, and you'll see it brings up um, a little dialog up here. So the old version was on, the new version will be down, D-O-W-N, and then I'm just going to tap the Enter button to hit Update. down and you'll see here jot down has been updated and the next word we've moved on already so I can keep going some of the most overlook small business task deductions but before we begin let's edit this one I'll hit E B E G I N comma I want to know two things you know what I'll be really pernickety here and add a colon firstly I'm not an accountant and this is my disclaimer okay simply t t talking okay I'm happy with this um, I'm happy with all of this. Secondly, I'm trying to keep my thoughts phrases. There, I have lived in three continents. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, in fact, this is, this is very accurate. Let me have a look. Okay, here's some, here's some errors. Um, bank fees. Let's start from here. So I'm going to hit E, bank fees, colon. Enter. Bank fees in the form of charity for the account are usually fully, you said, so E-F-U-L-L-Y, tax deductible. Make sure that finance is monthly. What did it say? Make sure. I believe you may. I don't know why that's... Uh, don't know why that's capitalized. E, believe you me. I'm going to add a comma there. Uh, they, and I can hit spacebar to play and pause. They really do add up. Now that should have been the end of a sentence, so I'll just go. They really do add up. Edit up. Full stop. Next. Edit. Interest with a capital P. Interest payments. You know what? Payments with a colon. If you finance the purchase of business equipment, I'll continue. Then edit that to make it a comma, edit that to make it lowercase, then it should be deductible, yeah. So this is stock, not stuck. So edit stock and edit and 
Inventory with tax deductions, every single number that counts. I'm hitting thumb, I'm hitting spacebar with my thumb to resume playing. Business travel. Travel business and expense. Which you can make with deduction. Can you possibly kill the drivers? No, sorry, it made a mistake there. I'm going to hit left, left and right, by the way, and the normal key arrows go back and forward 30 seconds. So I want to pick you up on this comment about renewable subscriptions. Ah, so it wasn't too renewable, it was auto-renewable. Very re relevant. Let's add a full stop there. And E, auto-renewable subscriptions. You get the idea. Um, the only letters I'm hitting are B and N to navigate back and forth. Then when there's a word I want to edit, such as this one. What does that word say? Way relevant. So I want to edit this word. So I'll go navigate to it, hit E, W H E R E, um, and then tap enter. And when I hit enter, it automatically advances to the next word. So you get the idea. Um, if it's done a fairly good job, then you can kind of visually inspect it and maybe in about two minutes yourself bring it up from kind of an 85-90% up to more like a 95%. Or you might find the occasional adding a full stop or comma makes all the difference to the listener to help understand it. Uh, otherwise, I know it's probably not the, the first you're doing, so I said I just fired across to you. Next time you um if you don't look at it soon, it may be even better when you come back. But once again, I just added at edit transcript equals true. And you can do that um, if you've signed in to the track owner. So feel free to, to, to log into this account or to sign up from scratch and make your own make your own account. It's absolutely free to try out. Talk to you soon, Nikki. All the best.